Hi. Outside, getting some much needed fresh air. So today I'm Planetary Jamie. This is what happens when I have a blue marker. Um, I decided today I was feeling all things space and I decided I would like to draw space on my body to make people happy. So I put some stars on my neck and I did my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see. I literally just did, I just did some dots and some stars. Everybody always thinks I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm here up. I'm wearing tube dresses a lot, so I am not naked. Just a little face decoration, never hurt anybody. My therapist told me that I need to start not being so involved in world events for various reasons. So I have been going to my therapist and I, it's good. It's helping me so far and I've only had three sessions. So there's about as good as you can expect after three sessions. But the thing that I like about the lady that I'm seeing right now is she actually offers um, suggestions. She's not just somebody who sits there and listens to me recant, you know, certain things. I'll have an issue or I'll have a problem going on and instead of going to the usual people that I would have where as before there would be no solution or the solution would be wrong or toxic, I kind of retain that until I go to therapy and then I ask her and she'll give me feedback on what she thinks I should do regarding that problem. So that's been really good for me. It's because I had a couple things. I have a couple issues, a couple things on my mind. Instead of just sort of like I would normally do, kind of like just closing down and, and internalizing them, or maybe going to people that don't know how to handle them or they make it not, be not worse, but not better, or people that don't offer any sort of, you know, productive, input or anyone who knows about CBT behavioral I had a bug just flew into my armpit but then again who could blame him right I mean you would want to fly into there I heard that everybody is planning on um, storming area 51 this week or next week or I think it's in September and there's no goal they're just gonna plan area they're they're gonna stalk area 51 fortunately it is just a huge base that has a lot of planes <sighs> Let's just take some deep breaths together. Three gigantic deep breaths in. Actually really helps. It should help. Only focusing on the positive not the negative. I have to spend as much time in nature right now as I possibly can, so. I could do a little quick video on some of my tattoos that people ask about, or anybody asks about, that maybe you don't see as often, so. This tattoo right here, my wedding anniversary, 128-6-2016, right here. My husband has the same one. See that, Per Ardua? That is through adversity in Latin. I have this says, know your rights. I don't remember where I got that one. <laughs> this, uh, these I have, and I got this in New York right after 9-11, and it's supposed to be a witch and a um, angel mixed together to show the contrast of childhood versus adulthood in life, dark, evil, yin yang. I have a lot, I can't, I don't think I can do them all right now. Cognitive behavioral therapy different actions and different things that you can do physically with your body to get through some some issues and such so where was I going with this um, yeah so I had a couple of issues that have been ruminating and I told her about them when I went and she gave me some advice and I'm proud to say that the issues that I was having and it's always good if you're going to a therapist too because if something happens or there's some crazy thing that happens in your life you can just put like a pause on it and say, well, at least I have something that I can talk about at therapy. So that's what I'm doing now. Anytime something comes up and instead of maybe handling it the way I would or reacting to it, because I'm a very reactionary person, I'm kind of clamping down on it and then that way I'll have something to talk about at therapy. So I did have like one or two things that came up and I said, I am going to save them for therapy. And I did that and I brought them to her and I shared with her the issues that I was the challenges that I was dealing with and she said that what I did and am doing is correct and I was proud of myself for that so oh I was talking about news the only person that I do watch for for 
news online is um, Steve Lookner. He runs uh, Agenda Free. It's a YouTube channel, Agenda Free News, Agenda Free Broadcasting. I usually check him out whenever there's a breaking news story like nowadays, as opposed to um, I don't watch television because I don't have television. So it's kind of cool though. It is so pretty outside. <sighs> so pretty outside. Yesterday I slept all day. That was bad because that's a bad habit I can't get into when I have like nothing to do or you know for the whole day. I am in quote unquote recovery, but I can't sleep all day because then that's how depression can kind of creep back in. So I got into that habit and that's not good. So I forced myself to go out. I forced myself to call up a friend and I got out of my little, my little rut there. I met up with a friend, I think last week, another friend. I'm starting to actually have friends. People are cursing on their bicycles. Must be a rough ride. My keys are over there. I should probably go get my keys, right? All right, I'll get my keys. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bye for now.